welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm just going to make sure that I'm definitely recording the sound. I am. Today's video is going to be a bit of fun, guys. I just wanted to share this cool video that I saw. I think I saw it a while ago, actually. Um, it says here, published on July 19th. Oh, hang on a minute, 2016. Oh, I thought it was published July 19th this year. Okay, so this is actually quite old, but I think I saw it. When did I see it? I think I saw it about a month ago. It just popped up on my YouTube dashboard and I watched it and it probably popped up on my dashboard because I would have been searching something around twins, probably something to do with a chart I was studying at the time. Anyway, this thing popped up and it's called Piers Morgan Can't Stop Laughing While Talking to Super Identical Twins. So I thought, okay, let's watch this. Let's see. Okay, if he can't stop laughing, I, I want to see what that is. And I was blown away by this video and I'm going to try and keep my video really, really short so that you've got time. You'll need, how long will we need? Five minutes, 43 seconds to watch the other video. So this video will make sense if you watch the other video. You can pause this video now and click and watch that one first or you can li listen to my spiel and then go and watch the video. Um, probably makes sense actually for you to listen to what I'm about to say and then watch it. Yeah, I think that's probably the right way around. I'm sharing this video because us astrologers, we're always studying interesting cases and different cases, different types of people. Um, I am due to read for a set of twins. I met this lady at a conference. She has twins and she said that their lives are very different and I would like to gift them a reading. And as yet I haven't uh, heard from her I know that people they like to at any given time I've got about 10 people who are like saying to me yes I want to get one done but then they're thinking about it they're taking time they've got other things to spend money on so I completely understand that people can take as long as they want I always tell people you can take a few years I'll be doing this for a while um but yeah she was someone who wants me to look at her twins and see what's different in their lives um, there is someone I did do a reading for who is one of a set of twins but the other one I think didn't survive so I have done that case um, I'd love to work I, I do hope that that one manifests that lady who has the twins you know who have these different lives I'd love to do uh, she wanted one for herself and one for the twins as well so let's hope that happens because hopefully I can chat with her and get some more understanding about how they were born and the timing of all that kind of thing because this truly fascinates me. Now if you watch this video that I'm pointing you to basically it's two British interviewers Piers Morgan and I'm pretty sure her name is Susanna Reid they are interviewing two Australian girls who are sisters who are twins now and they're not girls they're women I think they're mid-30s if I'm correct they seem about that age and they are absolutely delightful I was blown away when I watched this video because basically you see two identical twins talking at the same time not only do they talk at the same time they talk the same content everything they're saying is the same they spend all their time together they do not spend any time apart um, they do the same stuff like they do the same work I imagine they'd have the same friends um, they are absolutely inseparable watching this through astrologers and astrologers eyes and mind frame and conditioning and, and you know all the stuff that I've been learning for me these women they're gold because it's like to me it's kind of proving the truth of astrology because I, I don't know somehow I feel like their d60 chart would be the same now d60 what am I talking about here 
it's the divisional 60 chart or the 60th division chart which is the most refined chart that you can possibly have in astrology. Um, it changes every 2, 2.5 minutes and it really is the chart that you use as confirmation for your entire reading. It's believed that that is really your life and your destiny and who you are, what's going on in that D60 chart. It's very significant, it's very sensitive, it's very sacred as well. It's a very special chart. Uh, I do check into the D60 and the D45. In some cases where the birth chart, say for example, or the D9 or the D10 isn't giving me enough information, or say for example it's not really matching up to the life path, or let's say that person's going through quite a lot of confusion, you know, I will need to dig deeper and I'll go as far as I have to go to get information. And the D60 is very often a place where I end up. Uh, I usually do, I always check it. I always do a bit of a confirmation with what I'm finding. But for some people, I need to look at it more than for others. Now, what fascinates me about these twins, and I've just re-watched the video. They're fascinating because I reckon they would have the same D60 chart. Perhaps they were born by C-section or they were born very rapidly. There must be a story behind their physical birth, which would be so fascinating to know. Um, but I love these two because to me, they kind of prove astrology. They kind of prove the fact that um, there's really something to all of this because a lot of people will say to an astrologer, oh yeah, but what about twins? And it's like twins come out different and they were born at the same time, on the same day, in the same place, in the same hospital, from the same mother. So how is it that some twins lead separate lives? And how is it that other twins are as identical as these two? I mean, I've never seen anything like this. It's really incredible. So how is it, and look, as an astrologer, we do have an answer. You know, how is it that two people can be different? Yeah, two people can be different because they're D60 charts would be different and they would have a gap in age of more than 2.5 minutes. Thoroughly fascinating, right? So a Vedic astrologer has an answer for that question uh, and I like these two because I feel like they prove the fact that, yeah, astrology, uh, there's something to this because I feel like they would have been born very quickly together or there's something like that going on. Now, what is the deal with a C-section? There are lots of C-sections, but there are not a lot of people like these two twins. And I think that when there's something artificial going on, I don't know, I'd have to do some more research into that. I'd love to work with people personally. Look, if you are part of a twin, if you know twins, if you perhaps want to gift a set of twins a reading with me, you're very welcome to set that up. I would absolutely love to look into the chart of the twins. Uh, I've done lots and lots of readings, but I haven't done any twins as yet. So as I say, I have done one of a twin, but the other one passed. So um, yeah, <coughs> so I suggest you, you check out this video. The other thing is, even if you're not very interested in the technicalities of astrology, go and watch the video anyway, because just from a sort of soul point of view, it's thoroughly fascinating. And the other thing is that I wanted to say is that I loved watching the reactions of Piers and Susanna because she's in shock and he's just laughing his head off. And I remember when I watched it, what was my response? I remember this because I sent this to someone I know really, really well. And I sent her the link. I said, what do you think of this? What do you make of this? And I said, I found it to be, what two words did I use? I said, heartwarming and unusual. And I said, it's thoroughly heartwarming and unusual. And for me, so we had Piers laughing his head off, thinking it's surreal. We had Susanna in shock. We had me saying it's heartwarming. Now, why did I say it was heartwarming? I said it was heartwarming because I felt like I could see unconditional love between these two people. Unconditional love is not something we see often. I think, and I was pondering this today because I'm working on a particular chart and I'm kind of working through some things with a person at the moment. And it got me thinking about unconditional love. And I do see it 
coming from the child to the parent um, because kind of they've just come from bliss or heaven or wherever it is that we come from. They're fresh, you know, they haven't been conditioned as much and they unconditionally love adults. It's phenomenal. Um, I've seen adults be very conditionally loving to children but I think unconditional love does come from children to the adult and I also think that you can see unconditional love between these two people. So that's what I saw. And then when I sent it to this close, this person close to me saying, what do you make of this? She wrote back to me and what did she say? I think she was freaked out. I think she was like, oh my God, I, oh, oh, I don't know what to think of that. It, it scared her. She said, I was scared. So even if you're not interested in the astrology, even if you're not interested in the technicalities of the D60, Go and watch the video anyway and just see what your response is. What's your reaction to these two people? What do you see? And um, if you'd like to share in the comments below what you saw or what you found or how it made you feel, uh, I would really love to know. And um, yeah, I just think this is such a fantastic case that to me is kind of what's given me as an astrologer a lot of food for thought anyway. And it kind of makes me see that definitely the Vedic system has answers you know we can we can show that the d60 functions like this and when there are twins you know depending on what time they were born I don't know what time these two were born It'd be fascinating to know how closely they are in age but I hope you enjoyed that I hope you enjoyed that little uh, detour into the world of twins and the d60 chart <laughs> but this is a good thing to chat about because we often get asked what about twins and guess what we've got answers and we've got interesting cases like this to point to um, so I really hope you enjoyed this little video and I will definitely be back sharing whatever else I find I do have I know that there are some requests people have been asking for certain things they're on my list and I will get around to those so please stay tuned and I'll see you next time Thank you.